the world premiere of a new musical work is a noteworthy event on the cultural calendar, especially when the composer and soloist is as distinguished a figure as Santur Maestro Rahul Sharma. Mela received an exclusive invite to a sneak peek of the musical production Symphony of Santur, where the sounds of the East and West will magically meld into a symphonic harmony like never before. Global musical icon Rahul Sharma is at the helm, and I'm curious to find out how this collaboration came about. This would be the first public performance of the Symphony of Santur, featuring a fusion of classical ragas as well as Eastern folk music and light classical compositions performed in a Western orchestral style. Michelle was given some background by the conductor of the Cape Town Philharmonic, Brandon Phillips. Brandon, what's the experience been like collaborating with music from other genres? It's beautiful. I mean, the Santur instrument itself is so new and it can basically play light jazz, classic, any genre, basically Rahul is amazing. So I think the collaboration between the orchestra and the instrument itself, it's just fantastic, it's something new. Cape Town music lovers knew that this was an opportunity that should not be missed, especially as a composer would also be performing. Rahul is the son of the acclaimed composer and musician Shiv Kumar Sharma, who is credited with reviving the Santur as a popular classical instrument. Rahul learned to play the Santur when he was 13, and although he later studied economics, he went on to follow in his father's footsteps. At 24, he was performing alongside his father as well as collaborating with international artists, and his musical prowess has earned him a Sangeet Natak Academy Award. Rahul, it's so great to welcome you to Mela and to Cape Town. Thanks so much, Michelle. Pleasure being here. This is a world first. Is there a certain amount of nervous anticipation in doing something like this for the first time? Whenever you try something new, there is a bit of anticipation, nervousness, and you think, is it going to fall together? Is it going to fall in place? We're starting with something which is called ahimsa, non-violence. The first piece is kind of a tribute to Vaishnav Jantu and leading on to the Satyagraha movement and ahimsa. So to have the Cape Town Orchestra play this is something really unique. For all our viewers at home, how would you describe the Santur and its origins? The Santur belongs to the Valley of Kashmir and was a very little known instrument several years ago because it was used only in Kashmiri Sufiana music as an accompaniment, not as a lead instrument. Until my father and guru, Pandit Shiv Kumar Sharma, introduced it into classical and literally wrote the language for this instrument. The Santur is interesting in that sense because it was originally called the Shatatantri Veena, which in Sanskrit means an instrument of 100 strings. So it's extremely ancient. And with the gypsies, it's traveled across the world. So you have it in Romania, it's called Simbalo. And you have it in Germany, it's called the Hakbreth. Then in Greece, it's called the Santuri. In America, they have a similar kind of instrument, but different in shape. It's called the hammer dulcimer. So you find it all over the world. But to develop it in the style that Indian classical music can be played on this instrument was an impossible task, which he accomplished. And from there, now it's heading on to different genres. This is a world first. What do you hope that the audience experiences with this concert? If the music can make you forget your tensions, your miseries, and more so your mobile phone these days, <laughs> then I think you've won the audience and the audience doesn't need to understand to enjoy it. They can just close their eyes and let the music reach out to them. We hope that connection happens.
Inner Circle Entertainment shifts the context of musical expression through the creation of melodic collaborations. And it's always such a pleasure to welcome to Mela, Nisar Pangakar. Nisar, as the company director, what inspired you to create this particular production? Rahul's been a firm favorite in South Africa for many years. He's a younger generation artist. He has the right mindset for this. And he's worked with many other genres of music. He's worked with musicians as diverse as Kimmy G, Zakir Hussain, Richard Clayderman, Deep Forest, Peter Gabriel as well. So there's this mixed bag and he appeals to a younger audience as well. Indian classical music takes on a more improvised approach. How do you balance this with an orchestra who is more structured? The way these compositions were structured was there's the orchestra, obviously they play everything they see in front of them. But for the soloists like Rahul and even the tabla player and the pianist, they kept space for them in the compositions. So they work within a certain time signature and within so many bars and they create the magic within that. Yes, it's a challenge, but exciting, and it's great to see this all coming together. I personally love Indian classical music and seeing Rao perform live in concert is absolutely amazing. It's great to see traditional instruments with westernized full orchestra. Uh, beautiful. I have been moved, I have been cleansed, I feel free.